I just want to start off this video by saying thank you so much for 50 subscribers. The 50 subscriber special is already up on the channel by the time you're watching this, so go watch that. If you haven't already watched it, the new intro that I made for 50 subs will be right after. We are the A20 Nation, A20, I'm a YouTuber, not a hero. Hey, maybe consider subscribing. That way you'll know you'll be vibing. Maybe check out the merch. So today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers G1 Sludge. So first, yeah, I'm switching up the uh, video um, style. I'm going to actually show my face in the reviews. Looks like I put more effort in them or something, I don't know. I think it looks cooler, it makes it more entertaining, whatever. Okay, this is his dyno mode. So this is G1 this. Sludge's dyno mode, as you can see this looks really cool. These parts are kind of fragile because the figure is so old. He's 34 years old, I think. You can open the mouth, move the neck, move his head. You can move his back legs back and forth, and, reverse, and move his feet. You can you can move these front parts, but since the, the forearms are right there, it doesn't look great. So there's the robot mode. Now let's get into the transformation. So transformation time for G1 Sludge. First thing you're gonna want to do is take his legs. Fold them up into his into the sides of the uh, dino mode. Those will become his pieces of his robot legs. I'm gonna take the tail. I'm gonna split it open by these like two pieces right here. Flip them around over those legs that holds the legs in place. And this is kind of the scariest part of the transformation, especially since this figure is so old. I'll pop that whole section out. Fold it down. Straighten out the legs. Hold the head, and now you have this. I'm kidding, it's not the actual robot one. Um, continue by folding up the forearms, folding down his head, flipping around his legs, opening his le uh, splitting his legs, rotating his arms up so they're like this. They, ha they have to be like this, and you can break, you can Split these pieces, fold them back, fold the arms down, and when you get here, fold the fists out of the forearms, and fold it down, and there he is in robot mode. If you end up finding this figure anywhere, since he's so old, these pieces I've seen will are pretty common to have broken. I've looked on eBay to see how much this figure is worth before, and I've seen people with busted ones. This one's actually whoever owned this before me. Don't know how you can see that, but right there, that's glue. So this thing did has worked before. Yeah. Well, this thing has a lot of modern engineering on it, I would say. Oh, also diecast. The chest is diecast. That whole red section. Um. Anyway, articulation. Rotate this. What I was talking about with the modern engineering. He's got the fists. That's very common in modern Transformers. Shows how his legs transform with the folding up thing. So he's got that for the shoulder. No out movement. He's got that for the arms and then you can rotate the fists a bit. Through the legs, he's got that. And then the actual knee. Yes, his legs are very loose, but he's well, he's a couple decades old, so what are you going to do? He's got waist swivel. He's got, and then he's got out, outward movement on the legs. Yeah. This is G1 Sludge. I got him from the uh, from the new local toy store in my area called Master of the, of the Toyverse. So if you're into any collecting, like Star Wars and things like that, or Transformers, definitely go down there. And it's definitely really cool store. That was my first time ever being in a vintage toy store and that was definitely a really cool experience. So yeah, I've been A20 Studios. Thank you for 50 subs. I'll see you in the next video.